Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the all new Toyota 4Runner. Is that very, a drum roll? Uh, I didn't time it very well. No, you didn't. But no, it's, it's very okay. exciting. It is. Because we've been, we've been submerged in Toyota land recently. And very much. Actually, we helped the guys from the main Throttle House channel yeah. just filmed an adventure with the new Land Cruiser. That's yeah. coming out soon. It is very exciting. We can't say how it drives. No. But we can say that this is very similar to it in many, many <laughs> ways. It's its yes. brother. It's sibling. It's its brother in, in off-roady, funny, funness. <laughs> Well done, James. Thank you for coming out. Um, <laughs> so, well, this this was a, such a confusing point for me for so long. I was so nervous that they were going to build it on the platform of the Highlander or something and like sport, Bronco sportify it. Yeah, the reason the reason that's the case is because previously the Lexus GX and the Forerunner were the twins. Yes. And now the Land Cruiser has come along and it's a, made it triplets. Right, because well, the, we, we saw what the Land Cruiser was going to be, which you know, since the Land Cruiser wasn't like a bigger thing like the Lexus LX, the Land Cruiser was kind of like a Land Cruiser Prado, which is like the smaller, lighter duty one. That's confusing because the Forerunner kind of used to be that smaller, lighter duty Land Cruiser thing. It held that space, but then they brought out the Land Cruiser and it was kind of like a Forerunner. Then they brought out the Forerunner and it was kind of like a Forerunner. So they're kind of like the same. So here's the good news. But not. They haven't neutered the Forerunner. Not at all. Apart from in <laughs> one way. Oh. Because now there's no six cylinder. Oh. This can be optioned two different ways. There is the iForce, which is just a normal gas powered four cylinder. Yep. And then there's the iForce Max, this which, one. which is what the TRD Pro and the Trail Hunter and the top trims get. Yes. Like the Tacoma. It also in some ways is a more dedicated off-roader than the Land Cruiser, which feels weird to say. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, it's very confusing how the whole thing works. Basically, this is like a Land Cruiser underneath, but it's like a Tacoma in the front end and the interior, yes. and the drivetrain, which is also like a Land Cruiser. Right. But the, Land, the, the Tacoma is longer than this. This is the same as the Land Cruiser in the GX. As the wheelbase. As the wheelbase, right. Yeah. But so, you get big knobbly tires on this, you get all the funky suspension options that you get with the Tacoma, like the old man emu shocks on the Trail Hunter, yeah. which is also, by the way, an entirely new trim for the Forerunner. And it's awesome, we'll talk about that more in a second. And but this is the TRD Pro. This is the TRD Pro, so we get yeah. Fox shocks. This is the Baja build. Yes, they kind of split them, right? Before, the TRD Pro kind of had to do all the overland and the off-road stuff, and it had to do the Baja stuff. They said, Screw it, let's make two. So now we've got the Trail Hunter, which is like your overland. Uh, it, it, there's, there's like an air compressor Kinda in the Kind of like back a Land it. Cruiser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, almost like a Land All right, Cruiser. I feel like we got a bit ahead of ourselves. We yeah. did. Let's just talk about the way it looks. It's the for first a time we've seen it. Yes, you just come stand here. And if you, if you just focus on this little bit right here and you can't see the back of the cab, you'd go, it's a Tacoma. Tacoma. It it's looks a Tacoma. like a Tacoma. And that's not a bad thing. No, because it comes a good-looking truck. Yeah, we got we got the light bar here. Yep. We've got these fog lights here, which I think are clear on the TRD Pro, but they can be had in amber on the Trail Hunter. And we saw a Trail Hunter in the Everest color. Yes. Which looked wicked. Absolutely. And love that it. with amber fog lights, I feel like is super mean and looks aftermarket, but it's from factory. Yeah. What color is this? This is uh, mud buff. What a great name. It's just it's another cement. But they, no, 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 but it works on this. You get away with it because like any of the tan or like kind of like muddy colors on these off-road trucks look so good. I'm obsessed with that. Have you and, noticed? And it, yeah. I'm talking about it a lot. But it maybe. works for this spec because yes. this is a spec that will have inevitably a mud bath. It's already had a little bit of one. Yeah. So we've got these 33-inch Toyo tires. Yep. Again, way more aggressive than what you can get on the Land Cruiser. So yep. we were trying to categorize what this is in our, in our heads of like, who, well, how do you decide between this or the Trail Hunter of this versus a Land Cruiser? Because they both benefit from the iForce Max. Yep. They both have similar horsepower and torque numbers. Well, the one way is that the Land Cruiser comes with full-time four-wheel drive. It has that center locking differential, right. which can be not locked. So you can drive it all-wheel drive all the time. You can't do that with this. This just has you know, the, the four high, four low, rear locking differential and the sway bar disconnect. Okay, so right? this is more heavy duty, but potentially not as street friendly. Yeah, not as street friendly every day. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. And, and if you get the four cylinder of this, we haven't got prices yet, but if you get the four cylinder of this, it will be cheaper. It starts cheaper than the Land Cruiser. Right. Who knows if the TRD Pro and the Trail Hunter don't have price yet, end can't up drive it. Surpassing the Land Cruiser. Yeah. But this, is, this has one of our favorite things that's now lost on modern vehicles, isn't it? 
a window that goes down. Oh, I'm so up. happy they did not get rid of this, And right? you can control it from the back. Yeah, there's a button there. I'm sure you have to have it unlocked or something, but yeah. this looks great, doesn't it? This actually doesn't look that much different, but it says the TRD Pro, window that goes down, this little little wing here. I, just, I think it just doesn't disappoint. It doesn't disappoint at all in any it's single way. It's a forerunner. It's but, a forerunner. But, you know, we owned a forerunner. Yes, we Okay, did. we had a V8. Yeah. We thought that was really cool. It was. Yeah. I've sold it. But we bought that for $6,700. <laughs> yeah. It was great when it lasted, honestly. Yeah, so we're Forerunner fans, and I think that remains to be the case. Uh, should we have a look in the, in the inside? Let's have a look on the inside, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's very cool in here. It's very, it's, but again, it's more rugged. Like having, it is definitely more we rugged. We just got out of the Land Cruiser, and that feels sensible. It feels sensible and simple. This feels like really like styled. We've got this big Toyota badge on the thing here. And you know, all the colors are different in the different trims and what you get. Like the Trail Hunter looks very similar to this, but yeah. the Limited looks different. Speaking of Limited, I do need to caveat one thing. A, a, a full-time four-wheel drive is available in a Limited trim. Right. But not in the TRD or the Trail Hunter. Right. Okay, yeah, okay. some of the premium street trims. Yes. Get yes. It. Okay. Yes. One thing that this doesn't get, and I, and I know this is mostly tried to have fun, but one of the most exciting things about the new Tacoma TRD Pro are those isodynamic seats. Yes, which are not available in this. They don't come on the Forerunner, because the yeah. Forerunner is made in Japan, whereas the Tacoma is made in America, and Americans have more fun than the Japanese. <laughs> Apparently, I don't yeah. want to get involved. You guys yeah. want to fight it out. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. Um, this has got pretty much everything you'd possibly need. I really like this selector, by the way. I've been using it, like to select four low, four high, two high. You like push this and turn. That's pretty neat. You can hear it doing its thing down there, right? It's got all the drive modes, obviously, crawl mode, all that stuff. Heated steering wheel. Big cool Toyota seats. badge. JBL sound system. JBL sound system. This is going to cost money. This is going to cost, isn't it? It's going to yeah. cost money. Yeah, foreigners have always been expensive, and then yeah. you look at this one and how cool and new and fancy it is. Like, <laughs> right away, you can assume it's going to be pricey. I really like how they've kind of split the purpose of the different forerunners even more clearly now. Like, for example, in the Trail Hunter, you get an air compressor to, you know, lower your tire pressures for off-roading and right. rock, rock crawling and that sort of thing, yeah, right? Yeah. It's built into the car. But both of these, since they're the iForce Max, get the outlet in the back. Oh, that's fun. Yes. Okay. That's um, the, just like the Land Cruiser. Yes, which, did we use that on our trip? We did, we did. We had a cooler plugged oh, into it. Oh, we did. That's oh, right, not a cooler, a fridge. We did. I don't remember the trip that we just did yesterday. Yeah. Because it was such a blur. It was a blur. That's going to be ex yes. <laughs> exciting. Yes. Uh, we tried the back seats of this. Yep. I fit perfectly at 5'10. Harrison, 6'6. Six six, doesn't. Doesn't. Not, not quite enough headroom. No, okay. I guess this is sort of that mid size yeah. size. Yeah, it's not full, full size, is it? Yeah. I don't know. This is this is a really cool, and it, I'm very excited. Honestly, yeah. I, I was worried. I lost sleep over it. I was concerned that it was going to be. As I saw the Land Cruiser, I'm like, that looks like a Forerunner. But now we have this, uh, and it's I, just I think, like a Land Cruiser. Yeah, I think <laughs> the i. But, but this is iForce Max. Yeah, and we haven't tried iForce Max yet. Yeah, apart from we have in the Land Cruiser, and we're about to try it in the Tacoma. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Basically, well done, James. We have tried the Force Max. On, on extra he thrust, said it was a blur. You remember? Yeah. On Extra Throttle House, yeah. there is about to be a video after this video of the Tacoma TRD Pro, which right. is not too different to this. You know, same engine, same interior. Yes. And that's the iForce Max. Right. So make sure you watch that on Extra Throttle House. Right. And I'm not. We're the cool ones. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm not in that video. regular throttle. I'm not in that video. You're not in that video. It's just you. That's right. That's why it's better. You see? All right, so here's my question for you. Because yeah. when it comes to to off-road stuff, yeah. you know, we had the V8, we had the old Forerunner. Mm -hmm. The technology doesn't change that much. Like putting good shocks on an old vehicle can do a lot. Can do a lot. It can do a so lot. So if this comes yeah. out the TRD Pro and it's like 55, 60 grand, mm -hmm. what are you getting? Where, what are you? What's improved? Like we've got this big screen, which is a lot more square than the Land Cruiser. Yeah. We've got digital gauge cluster, obviously. Which I guess very nice. lighting technology has come a long way. There's a lot of cool lights in the front. Yeah, the rear tail lights are cool, and these are those stripes. Also, I'm gonna guess efficiency is probably a thing, untested, to be fair, but like, I, I can tell you from experience, our V8 4Runner, it wasn't too good on fuel. No. No, and you can imagine that a hybrid four-cylinder will probably be better on fuel. But do you think people are gonna be disappointed about the four-cylinder? I don't know, maybe. Maybe a little bit, because like, well, what did we just see go, oh, a Tacoma went by us on the highway and it, it had the V6 in it, and it made a great noise. He had like an exhaust on it or something, right? 
So, so I mean, if you're bar hiring, you want excitement and, and drama. And to be fair, I mean, especially in things like the Trail Hunter, you're going for longevity, long distances, and I don't know, unproven reliability is basically what I'm saying. Remains yeah. to be seen. However, Toyota hybrid engines have been reliable in the past, so one can assume yeah, the norm- Toyota thing has normally happened. Normally a turbocharged or turbocharged hybrid yes. seems scary. Yes, but... But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, if anyone can do it, I think Toyota probably have a good chance. Yeah. The question now is GX versus Forerunner versus, versus Land, Land, Cruiser. Land Cruiser. They're all so close. I honestly don't know the answer to that question. Maybe we will answer it in the Land Cruiser video, which I don't remember what we said because I said <laughs> it was a blur. All right, so, but the good news is not a Highlander with not a, a Highlander. with a Forerunner badge. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's potentially very serious off-roader. This Chunk. looks like it's going to be pretty great. Yeah. Penis. <laughs>